Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will guide you how you can easily use Otter AI. If you're starting out first time with Otter AI, you will have a link down below in the description and you can click on it and go through there. So when you're going to be here, you want to click on top right star for free. Here you would simply add an email address and then press create account. Then you would add also the password and press next here. Then you're going to add a first name, last name. So Marcus Stanelius and then next here. And then you have to verify your email address. So you will get an, a verification and confirm email address and then verification success. Now let's just wait until uh, we're going to be in and then we are going to continue. <clears throat> so how do you plan to use author if it's a meeting notes, transcript files or other? You pick here and then sing your meetings uh, from your calendar. So what you can do is you can easily connect with Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar and then go to top right or go to top right and click skip. Then which video conference software do you use? Google Meet, Zoom or Microsoft Dreams or other? And here you would choose it again, like which one you choose use. I'll click other here. And then you're going to see everything, right? So you're going to have, uh, I'm going to show you on a dashboard in the home, you're going to have the activities, a tutorial, how you can record the basics. You can get also the pro version here or run better meetings. And then on the right side, you would find meetings right here. And on the left side, what you would find here, you can easily create new workspace and you can create a team. Then in my conversation, you would find all the conversations. Then share with me. So it would share with you, you would find right here and more like applications, all conversations. Then you can have option to find groups and you can like simply invite people to your group. So group name can be like Marcus group. And then I can press create here. And what I can do, I can simply have a groups in direct messages or uh, let's say folder. I can go on the top right and click record. Allow using microphone. And you get 30 minutes per of transcription per conversation. Okay. So, and this is how I'm going to record. And then what I can do, I can click stop recording or on the right side, you can highlight, comment, action item, or add a photo. So then I can like stop recording. When I go here to my conversation, I can have a note here. And right now it's processing. You won't be able to hear that, but what we need to do is actually just go to account settings and then I uh, have also you can edit things here and have a plans So that's pretty much how we do it. So in conversation, you would always find the conversation right now is processing and you can always highlight what happened in conversation. You can add a comment to it or you can have an action item or add a photo on the bottom right. And in a home, so you can one click to record or any event or meeting from any calendar. Easily share notes with calendar guests and groups. Schedule author assistance for upcoming meetings. So in all of that, you can have and you can do. So I can go again, go to top right, have arrow, and have record again. Camlink four. Right now it's connected. And 
you can always write notes here. And you got it, right? I can always go to the settings of Chrome. And edit the audio. So that's something you can do, but it really depends what kind of uh, like browser you're using. Okay, we'll go to privacy security and microphone and then we can simply change the microphone here. So let's say I'm going to use the analog here, that should work. And now I can simply go and press pause, stop recording. And now I'll go record. And it's still recording on this, but I, we don't want to record on this. And this is how I believe we should able to change it. Oh, right now, see? Right now it's working, so we have to change the microphone. And for this particular reason, I'm going to give you advice. So if you can have any questions, how you can add notes in Otter AI, uh, you can like ask me and share the comments down below and in the comments, like under the video. So this is pretty much it, how I can do it. Now I can highlight or I can add a comment or I can have action item or I can add a photo. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. So I, I just added a photo for uh, the text and I can always pause the recording or resume the recording. So you can always pause it and resume it. But my recommendation is as I did the mistake, I did a mistake of uh, like not changing the mic in the beginning. So we need to change the settings here. And it really, really depends what kind of browser you're actually using. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you. Have a great day and goodbye.